This is Jodine, and you're tuned in to Capital Jazz TV. We are on the 13th annual Capital Jazz Super Cruise, and I am sitting here with who I think is probably Prince reincarnated, but I'll just say it for right I'm now. too old to be the reincarnation, but you feel me. <laughs> but, but you feel me, though. You feel me, though. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> this is a pur Purple Rain tribute, the Prince. Purple Rain, the Prince tribute show from Las Vegas. That's a Oh my gosh. The one and only one the from Las Vegas. The one and only. You guys have been, like, there's a lot of people anticipating your show. Cool. So I just want you to know, you got to be ready for, uh, for, for these ready. folks. I'm ready for some <laughs> excitement. Yes. Hope they're ready for it. I'm ready. Good. So how, um, if you will, please introduce yourselves. Tell us where you're from. I'm Jason Tenner, the Prince guy from Indianapolis, Indi Indianapolis, Indi yeah, Indiana. Say? Indianapolis, <laughs> Indiana, originally. I was trying to get originally in there. This is Portia Yosef. Hi. He's a dancer in the show. Uh, my name is DeAndre from Chicago, Illinois. DeAndre, okay. Uh, Jason Underwood, uh, originally from, uh, I guess, Canada, BC. Another. So, how did you guys all get together um, to come up with the pr the Prince tribute? Well, he and I were high school bandmates. We started a band in our jun junior or senior year in high school. Uh, right? We started uh, the summer of junior year. Some of our junior year is when we started an original band, and then we also had a, a group called the Mothership Connection, which mm -hmm. was a 70s, 80s funk uh, tribute, disco tribute, you know, disco, Dis funk, disco tribute. funk tribute. And I, I went out in 1996 dressed up uh, as Prince for Halloween, mm. and the guys like, hey, let's let's put some of the Prince songs in the yeah. set. We put the Prince one songs set, in yeah. the set, just one set, and it became really popular. Next thing you know, everyone wanted to see it. We started dressing up. And that was it. I have the first tape. It was horrible, but here we <laughs> you are. You felt like it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. But people <laughs> wanted to see it. 23, yeah. Yeah. yeah 23 years later. So. So, how do you, so how does that story get to Las Vegas? How do you mean? How did you oh, guys we end up? I'm sorry. We started in Las Vegas. You guys started yeah, in Las yeah, Vegas. We, we, yeah, we grew up together in Las Vegas. Okay. Originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. Originally from Canada, but we went to school together uh -huh, in, 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 Las uh, in Las Vegas, yeah. right? And that's how we met. Wow. So, yeah, we started in a small uh, college club across from UNLV. Mm -hmm. And uh, within six months, we were playing in the, the, the larger, uh, bigger showrooms around Las Vegas within six months. Nice. So nice. Now, Porsche, how did you get involved with the band? Yeah. I've been with the band about three years now. Nice. Yeah, so he was on the search for another dancer. And I was actually working yeah. with a close friend his ex-girlfriend at the time. Oh, yeah. And yeah, yeah. she had been yeah, telling yeah. me for, for years, <laughs> you need to be in Purple Rain, you'd be perfect for Purple Rain. Nice. The time came along where he was searching and I was like, okay. Perfect. And he called me the next day, said I want you to come see the show. Nice. Um, I did a private audition and yeah. Nice. DeAndre, the musical director, and that's gotta be a hard task. Yeah, it, Something it hard to be. do. <laughs> <laughs> it can be. Yeah, it, can it can be. be. Yes, it can. How did you, how did you um, form with the group? I had been performing in Vegas since 94, and um, I guess Jason came out one night and saw me performing. He, he signed. He was on Prince's record label, right? And y'all came out. I was out. with a group that was with or Prince. Yes. With, with oh, Prince's record wow. label. wow. Back when um, Most Beautiful Girl. When okay. he went over to that label. And I saw him. Right. And I was like, hey, bro, <laughs> <laughs> one day you're going to be my guitar because this dude is bad. Right, right, right. When I say bad, he's, it's otherworldly. So I was like, one day, and he's been with me for 11 years now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so tell me about, let's talk about Prince. Tell mm -hmm. me about Prince and the influence yeah. that Prince has had. I mean, we could all do a tribute show, but there's got to sure. be something about him that you want to channel into you know, when you're um, performing. Yeah, I mean, Prince was bad. He, so everything that he wrote. I mean, he was so honest as a musician as, and as an artist. That's what compelled me. Because when I first started doing this, I didn't know anything about Prince. I didn't listen to Prince music. Wow. I didn't. I grew up listening to like Arm. I mean, Army. Michael Jackson was what was in my so house. There's always like that Prince Jones. and Michael Jackson that's competition, what, what I come right? Up with. Well, that's what my mother listened to. That's what was in the house. And my my father, my stepfather was from West Africa, so that was all West African music. Right. <laughs> but but I didn't really mess with Prince. I saw. Uh, 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 a magazine cover mm -hmm. back in on that Halloween, mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm gonna dress up. Mm. And from there, that was it. And then I started getting into his music and getting into it. And like and like I said, the dude's just bad. I mean, right. the fact that he wrote all that stuff in the catalog is just deep it's and wide, and just and he played. You know, right. so, I mean, it's just that's right. that's for me. That's what I mean. I didn't play guitar until I started doing this. And so I, I didn't play any instruments. Yes. I didn't play any wow. instruments now, and, and because of Prince inspired, I play drums, bass, guitar, keyboards, write all my own music, produce all my own stuff too. Talk so. about an influence. 
That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I think he did that to a lot of people. Yeah. He made some people want to quit, though, I'm sure. Yep. In the beginning, he made me like, oh, man, that's ridiculous. Why should I even do, do this anymore? He's right. that because he's that bad. Right. He's that bad. Right. Yeah. And DeAndre, when it comes to um, musical directing Prince's music, I know how complex Prince's music is. How do you how do you navigate through that? Well, I've been playing it for so long. I mean, I grew up, you know, idolizing Prince. I was so much attracted to. I, I really kind of uh, I identified with so much of his music at the time. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I've been playing it for so long. Mm -hmm. So it's just second nature to me. I right gotta now. say, it's yeah. really sick. this dude. I mean, wait, you just, you just gotta come see. It's ridiculous. Yeah. The, dude, the dude is bad. I, I put him, I say my guitar player is bad as any guitar player in the world. Nice. Guaranteed. Nice. And then, so Guaranteed. Jason, when he puts on this Prince yeah. uniform, you say, you got to do this, you got to do this more and more. <laughs> were you like a huge fan of Prince and you just saw something special? We, we were both in the same, partner, yeah. same boat. Because we had you know? an original band. We were doing yeah. like f funk, rock and roll. Right. Like, yeah. You know, that's what we were doing, original music. So yeah. neither one of us really knew anything about Prince. No, I learned real quick, though. We sure did. You didn't know either. <laughs> no. I love this. Yeah. No, but we were about, what, 17, 18? We were kids. We were yeah. kids. Maybe, we I, think, I think we started Rain. doing Purple Rain. Where maybe we were 20, 20 21. 21 yeah, so. We're not aging ourselves, but I get it. No, we're it. not. No, I'm going <laughs> to just go ahead and tell you I'm mid-40s. There you go. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Looking like you're only 20, so I appreciate that. that. It must be the juicy drinks. It's the juicy <laughs> drinks. It's the juicy drinks. So outside of the uh, outside of the Prince tribute, what else? What else are you I'm doing? Music you still too. You original look up music. T E N N E R on Google, Spotify, Amazon. I'm just now releasing my catalog. Nice. It's funny, Prince. Prince. Um, when he died, right before he died, I released my first single, and then he passed like right after that, and then everything became Purple Rain. It's like right. I couldn't look up without, you know, everyone wanted to wanted to see us to our tribute. So. So I'm now just now coming back, settling back down. I'm gonna put my music videos out. I have a warehouse in Vegas where I'm filming, filming music videos, nice. and doing the whole thing. So outside of Prince, that's what it's about. I got to get my entire catalog out. Which is do we get to see? Do we get a little snippet of that when you're performing during the tribute? No, I no. never do that. You no, never do that. No, I try okay. not to do that. Okay, no, okay, the, okay. The, uh, at the end of, in Vegas though, I play one of my singles after the show every night. Good. You know, at the end of the show, but no, nah, I can't do it with the Prince. I've got to hear your original wrong. music. That's what okay. that's that's what I want to hear. That's okay. what I want to hear. So we're gonna be on the lookout for that. Okay, How do people do. get in contact with um, with you and stay in touch with your uh, tours? So we are um, Purple Rain LV LV on for Las Vegas on Instagram, okay. and um, Purple Rain the Prince tribute show on Facebook. She handles all the social media and stuff too. She's so, so me, yeah. So <laughs> she, she, she got more than one job. She got more than just dance, but she handles all the social media. So um, likely, if you reach out, it'll be her. But if but if you really need to talk to me, let her know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send her the DMs because we That's know right. she'll check it. She's, she's absolutely, check the DMs. absolutely. Full time job. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you guys finally made it. There's a whole backstory yeah. with them getting on the cruise. Yeah. But, but we, we got it. but we are here and we, we are looking here. forward to the Prince tribute. So and thank you guys so much for being here. Thank this you. is thank the you. Purple Rain, the Prince tribute that is going to take place here on the 13th annual Capital Jazz Super Cruise. You are tuned in to Capital Jazz TV.